Hey everyone, this is Ghadal Mashagba. Thank you for joining my talk today in which I will introduce our new multi-party computation model, Gage and PC. The goal of this model is to uh, prevent the leakage of the residual function that is inherent in an interactive MPC. This is a joint work with uh, Fabrice Ben Hamouda, Sung Bo Khan, uh, Daniel uh, Yaroslavex, Tal Malkin, Alex Nikita, Tal Rabin, Abhishek Shah, and Iran Tromer. Gage MPC is about combining uh, two paradigms, namely non-interactive multi-party computation and MPC over a blockchain. I will introduce uh, both of these paradigms, starting with NIMPC and using auctions as an example. In a conventional NIMPC setup, we have a special entity uh, called an evaluator that will be available for uh, the entire period of the computation. And we have a set of participants who want to compute uh, a specific function over their uh, private inputs. Uh, each party will submit a, a message to the evaluator uh, where this message is computed based on uh, its private input and uh, without interacting with any uh, other party. Uh, once all these messages are received, the evaluator uh, performs the computation and announces the output, which uh, in our case will be uh, the winner uh, in the auction. Existing works on NIMPC showed that in order to enable uh, the setting, uh, a trusted setup is needed. Uh, this trusted setup will generate what we call uh, correlated randomness uh, that will be distributed uh, among the parties uh, beforehand. Each of these parties will uh, then uh, generate uh, its message based on uh, her private input and uh, this correlated randomness. Uh, in the NIMPC uh, setting, uh, we have that the leakage of the residual function is inherent, uh, meaning that if the evaluator uh, colludes with any of uh, the parties, uh, say party zero, then the evaluator can recompute the function over arbitrary values of this colluding uh, party input uh, while fixing uh, the inputs of the uh, rest or the honest uh, parties. Uh, so translate that uh, to our example, uh, even for example, let's say the last party uh, in the computation, PN, can wait until it sees all uh, messages from the rest of the parties, and then uh, uh, by just like uh, doing uh, or recomputing the leakage function, it will be able to figure out the highest previous bet and then act uh, accordingly. Uh, these uh, existing works uh, showed how to construct uh, NIMPC protocols that are robust uh, to collusion. Uh, so uh, to guarantee that the only thing that will be leaked is uh, the residual function. Uh, and as I just said, uh, all these protocols uh, require a trusted setup uh, to generate uh, correlated randomness uh, for the players. In parallel, there is a progress uh, on uh, exploiting blockchains uh, in MPC. Uh, this started with the first generation uh, who uh, used uh, a blockchain to implement uh, a broadcast channel that is usually uh, needed in MPC protocols. Uh, the second generation incorporated uh, payments into MPC protocols, uh, and this was mainly used uh, to address fairness, where uh, the party that uh, quits uh, the computation before uh, letting others know the output will uh, lose uh, her collateral or uh, penalty deposit. Uh, the third generation, which is uh, this work, um, uh, we take this further to uh, incorporate uh, smart contracts and miners as active participants in the MPC protocol. So our goal is to utilize the blockchain in a novel way to uh, prevent the leakage of the residual function in NIMPC and uh, uh, avoid the requirement of uh, having a trusted setup or the evaluator party who has to be available online during the whole computation. Uh, this is done as follows. Uh, 
Uh, at a high level, a gauge MPC uh, is composed of a party P0 and a set of N parties uh, who all want to compute a specific function over their private inputs. Uh, P0 uh, set up uh, or sets up the computation uh, by preparing uh, its initial message in zero. Then uh, she creates a smart contract to control the computation and uses this smart contract to record in zero and to create a collateral uh, on the blockchain. The amount of this collateral is proportional uh, to the uh, hardness or amount of work uh, that others need uh, uh, or needed by others to finalize the computation. Um, after uh, posting M0 and uh, the collateral, uh, other parties will use M0 to compute uh, and, of course, their private inputs to compute their own messages. And then they post them um, uh, on the blockchain using the same uh, smart contract. Uh, after uh, having all these messages published on the blockchain uh, and within a timeout period, an honest P0 will come back and post uh, a final message in zero prime that will allow finalizing the computation and announcing the output. Uh, this honest P0 uh, will be able to recover her collateral uh, because uh, she uh, submitted in zero prime. On the other hand, um, a malicious P0 may not show up. Um, and uh, at that time, when just like uh, after a timeout, other parties in the system, uh, which we call bounty hunters, uh, will uh, expend the needed computation uh, or uh, work uh, needed to uh, compute in zero prime uh, that will be used to finalize the computation. Uh, as a reward, these bounty hunters uh, will uh, claim the collateral uh, that was deposited by uh, P0. So as long as uh, there are financially motivated uh, bounty hunters who are willing to do the work to finalize the computation, the output of the MPC protocol is guaranteed. Uh, so it is either, uh, which, which we call the nominal path, P0 will uh, allow producing the output or the motivated uh, bounty hunters uh, will do so. Um, and uh, this setup uh, works under uh, a monetary uh, assumption uh, where we assume that an honest party, uh, P0, can put a collateral of value much higher uh, than what an adversary can expend on computation. Gage MPC eliminates the leakage of the residual function uh, by requiring the adversary to expend uh, an equivalent uh, computation cost to what uh, honest bounty hunters uh, will uh, expend in order to evaluate the functionality F over a single input. So this means that evaluating this uh, functionality over uh, kind of like different set of inputs will be uh, expensive. Uh, also, Gage MPC doesn't require a trusted setup, and it doesn't uh, require a dedicated uh, online evaluator because uh, finalizing the computation uh, is automatic done by the miners when executing the smart contract that controls uh, the Gage MPC uh, protocol. Uh, however, um, leaking or kind of like uh, that the protection against the leakage of the residual function uh, is uh, guaranteed uh, in the, only in the short term. Uh, this is because uh, ha kind of like having a wealthy uh, patient adversary who's willing uh, to uh, invest a large amount of computation, uh, this adversary will be able to uh, leak uh, the residual function and maybe uh, kind of like leak information about the private inputs of the parties. Uh, for this reason, uh, Gage MPC should be used with uh, computations of an ephemeral nature, uh, like auctions, uh, for example. In the rest of this talk, uh, I will uh, present our uh, Gage MPC construction at a high level. Uh, the full technical details can be found uh, in our paper. Um, as you see in the figure, uh, we introduce several primitives and combine them together uh, towards building uh, our gauge MPC uh, scheme. Uh, we start with a time capsule, which is basically committing to a value that can be opened uh, after expending a pre-specified uh, amount of computation. Uh, 
Uh, for example, uh, I can commit uh, to uh, a value S by publishing its hash uh, on the blockchain, for example, and uh, to open it, uh, anyone uh, will brute force the pre-image domain uh, of this hash function until uh, she finds the value S or the pre-image S. And as you can imagine, uh, the longer uh, the seed value is, uh, the harder or the larger is the amount of computation uh, that is needed uh, in the opening uh, process. Uh, basically, uh, this is what uh, bounty hunters uh, are doing in Gage MPC. Uh, so uh, the input labels will be uh, committed in time capsules. If B0 that doesn't come back to open them, the bounty hunters will brute force the opening and allow finalizing the computation. Having the, the bounty hunter uh, post the opening publicly will not work in our setup. This is because other malicious bounty hunters may claim this opening as theirs and uh, steal the collateral from the honest bounty hunter who did the work. Uh, for this reason, we combine time capsules with zero knowledge proofs to allow uh, a bounty hunter to prove in zero knowledge that uh, she found the opening and did uh, the required uh, amount of work uh, without revealing the opening uh, itself. Uh, the combination of these two primitives uh, we call uh, pod C or proof uh, of time capsules. Um, in order to allow uh, rewarding the bounty uh, hunters for the work uh, they are doing in opening uh, time capsules, um, uh, we utilize a smart contract uh, to build what we call gauge time capsules, uh, where uh, we uh, bundle uh, several policies together and uh, allow uh, P0 to uh, create a collateral on the blockchain through this smart contract that controls uh, the gauge time capsule. And uh, not all these policies will be uh, opened later, only those uh, that cor correspond uh, to the uh, private inputs of the parties. So uh, as you see in the figure, uh, and as we mentioned before, there will be two paths, uh, the nominal path where P0 will come back and open the intended policies and uh, recover uh, her collateral. Uh, and there is uh, the uh, bounty hunting uh, path where uh, bounty hunters will do the work to open these uh, time capsules and claim the collateral. Uh, gauge time capsules basically uh, allow uh, committing uh, to the uh, input labels that are needed uh, for the computation. Uh, however, we still need uh, a protocol to perform the computation itself over these inputs. Uh, for this reason, we uh, introduce uh, what we call label-driven label uh, MPC, which is a generalization of garbled circuit that is robust uh, to the exposure of uh, additional labels. Recall that in uh, Yao's garbled circuits, uh, we have uh, two parties, uh, the garbler P0 and the evaluator uh, P1. Uh, P0 garbles uh, the circuit uh, that represents the functionality that these parties want to compute over their private inputs. And this garbling is basically encrypting the truth table uh, of the circuit. Uh, it will also uh, generate uh, random labels for the input wires, uh, where uh, for each wire, uh, we will have two labels, uh, one for the bit zero and the other for the bit one. Uh, P0 sends uh, the garbled circuit to the evaluator P1, uh, and then uh, they engage in uh, an oblivious transfer protocol to allow P1 to uh, retrieve uh, the uh, one label that represents or that corresponds to uh, her input. After that, uh, P1 can evaluate the garbled circuit using these labels and obtain the output of the function F over uh, their private input. Uh, the security guarantee of Yao uh, states that nothing will be uh, revealed uh, or leaked about the private inputs uh, beyond what can be deduced from the output. 
Uh, and it is known that uh, revealing even of one additional uh, label will compromise security. Uh, so for example, if an adversary gets to see both labels of an input wire, this may allow him to uh, leak information about, about the private inputs. Uh, we handle that by making YAO uh, robust uh, to or against uh, revealing K additional uh, labels. Uh, this is done by adding another layer uh, of indirection to the computation, which is the circuit C prime that you see in the figure. Uh, circuit C prime will output the actual labels needed for uh, the computation or the garbled circuit C if and only if its inputs uh, constitute a valid code word. Uh, by using a linear uh, error correcting code uh, with a minimum distance of k plus one, um, uh, evaluating the circuit C over a new input uh, value will require uh, k plus one additional labels. Thus, we achieve uh, k robustness in this case. As you might have guessed by now, Gage MPC simply uh, takes uh, a label-driven MPC and commits the input labels in Agassi. Uh, so uh, party P0 uh, who sets up the computation will prepare the garbled circuit and uh, GATSIs for input labels for the rest uh, of the parties uh, and create a smart contract to control the computation, which will also uh, create a collateral for this party. Uh, the rest of the parties will submit their inputs and then uh, honest P0 will come back and open uh, the corresponding uh, labels uh, which are uh, POTSIs uh, or uh, the uh, bounty hunters uh, will do that. Uh, after getting uh, the openings, uh, the smart or the controller smart contract uh, evaluate the circuit over these labels and record uh, the output. Uh, robustness uh, guarantees that uh, for an adversary uh, to evaluate uh, the garbled circuit uh, over another input, um, she will need to expend uh, computation equivalent uh, to the work needed to open uh, an additional K plus one uh, POTSIs uh, or time capsules uh, to get a valid uh, code word. Uh, in the paper, we provide uh, several uh, transformations uh, for Gage and PC uh, that provide several uh, security uh, level levels. Um, uh, as you can uh, imagine, um, conventional uh, Yao garbled circuits uh, where uh, only P0's input is uh, private uh, provides what we call uh, public input and zero robust security because uh, it is uh, insecure against uh, the exposure of any additional label. Uh, by using uh, error correcting codes, uh, we obtain a uh, robust uh, label uh, driven uh, MPC and uh, to handle private inputs, uh, we can um, use a two round two party uh, computation protocol to allow that. Uh, by combining these two uh, constructions together, uh, we uh, obtain a gauge MPC that satisfies uh, the highest security level, uh, which is supporting private inputs for all parties and robust uh, against uh, the exposure of additional um, input labels. Um, and as mentioned, uh, the fully private uh, input versions are for uh, the two party setting uh, only. To conclude, in this talk, we introduced a new uh, model called Gage MPC, which incorporates smart contracts, the miners, and uh, financial incentives uh, in the computation. Uh, Gage MPC does not leak uh, the residual function and doesn't require uh, a trusted setup uh, like previous uh, non-interactive MPC protocols. Uh, and it represents the third generation of combining MPC uh, with uh, blockchains. Uh, also uh, on the way, we developed several uh, new primitives like uh, proof of time capsules, uh, gauge time capsules, uh, label driven MPC, uh, which we believe that uh, they are of an independent interest and could be uh, useful in building uh, applications other than uh, gauge MPC. 
Uh, also in the paper, uh, we show a proof of concept implementation of a simple uh, auction functionality uh, to show uh, the construct uh, or to assess the efficiency uh, of uh, our protocols and primitives. Uh, thank you for uh, your attention and happy to answer uh, any questions uh, you might have. Thank you.